<laughs> Don't be like that. Koko Roša je pred dvema letoma, 28. marca, rodila hčerko Joni. Na Instagramu smo lahko sledili številnim trenutkom iz detetovega življenja. Ljubki obrazek je osvojil se. Danes je Joni najbolj znana dojenčica na Instagramu. Sicer pa je Joni z umetniške družine, ko smo že pri fotografijah in družabnih omrežjih. Očka, James Conran je fotograf in tudi Koko Roša je zvezda spletni strani. Je zelo aktivna v osveščanju ljudi, da pretira novitke manekenke ne sodijo na modne brvi. Bila je prva manekenka, ki je zbrala milijon sledilcev na Google+. Zdaj jih ima že skoraj milijon tudi na Instagramu. In v čem je skrivnost? Je prisna in značajna. Rodila se je leta 1988. Prihaja iz Kanade. Njeno pravo ime Mihaila pa nas pomni, da ima ukrajinske in irske korenine. V svet mode je vstopila 16. letim, ko je krasila na slavnico Vogue Italia. Sodelovala je z najimenitnejšimi modnimi hišami, od Hermeja do Diorja in krasila prestižne naslovnice modnih revi. Predvsem pa je zablestela na spletu. Njeno ime je povezalo svetovni splet in modni svet. Nile zgol top model, saj se ustrajno bori proti motnjam hranjanja v modni industriji in je zaščitnica mladoletnih manekenk. Je super junakinja, iz stripov manga, bionska ženska, usodna ženska in androgina manekenka na modnih naslovnicah. Toda, ko si Koko od strani ličila, razkrije lepo, svežo pot in otroški pogled. Dan se po jutru pozna. Koko pravi, da je za njo najpomembnejši zajtrk, po možnosti mednaroden. Umešana jajčka, veliko sadja in čaj. Redno skrbi za zdravo prehrano in svoje telo. Nima slabih razvad. Ne pije, tudi kavene, ne kadi in spi vsaj osem ur. Rada je v odlični formi. Obožuje ples, ki jo spremlja že od malih nog. V Milanu sem jo srečala na revi Elizabete Franki, ki jo je odprla v čudovitem smokingu. Zdaj je blondinka. How does it feel to be back in Milan after such a long time here in the backstage of Elisabetta Franchi? It's 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 bringing back a lot of memories. There's a few models I I actually know <laughs> um, and the many new faces, but it has been really nice um, and surreal at the same time. It it has been about I think maybe four years since I've done a runway show in Milan. So yeah, it's been nice. I feel like it's a, a little party. <laughs> You've been modeling for such a long time and it's a lot of traveling, a lot of sacrifices, uh, like a life on the go. So I'd yeah. like to ask you which is the best part and maybe the worst part of this living? I think, like you said, uh, traveling and always on the go is the best and the worst. Um, I have a little girl now who's uh, almost two, so I get to travel with her everywhere, with my husband. Um, I have a job that I can bring her to shows, to jobs, to travel. Um, and there's women out there that don't have that opportunity. You know, they, they work nine to five at an office and they don't get to see their kid as often as I do. On the other hand, it's a lot of traveling. Um, it's not as stable or as normal life as most moms or as most people out there, but you get so used to it that it is normal. Um, when I was young modeling, it was upsetting to, sorry, I heard my name. <laughs> when I was younger, it was upsetting to always be traveling because you wanted to be around family and friends, but now, I get to bring my family and friends, so it's it's pretty amazing. It seems amazing, really. You are also a style icon, which is the Thank secret you. of your style, because you're a role model for so many women all over the world. Oh, thanks. Um, I guess confidence, I guess, is one thing, but also just being comfortable in who you are. I don't believe in trends. I hate the word trends. Don't ever ask me what is the trend this season, because honestly, it should be whatever you want to wear. A woman shouldn't have to spend so much money and then throw it out the next year because it's not in season. Um, so I really think that you just wear whatever is comfortable. If you love something from the season, great, go buy it, enjoy it. But don't uh, do it because someone is telling you to do it. And I think, you think back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, those women wore outfits because they loved them, not because they were told that this was what they needed to wear. Um, and we just have to remember that. What about the beauty advice? Beauty advice, same sort of thing goes, you know, make sure you're comfortable in it. Um, also practice. Don't go make some new eyebrows on your face or do an eyeliner that you've never done before and then walk out the house. You take it off, you do it again. You take it off, you do it again until you get perfect at it because it's, uh, it would, you don't want to look silly. You don't want to look like you made a mistake. So just get comfortable in whatever look it is and change it up. Make sure you're not doing the same look all the time. We change our clothes every day, I hope. Um, so you should change your hair and makeup. I change my color of my hair every year, I think. 
How do you feel being blonde now? It's great. This is the first time I've been very Marilyn Monroe. I'm always David Bowie. I'm always this man. So today I'm actually, I feel very girly today. Rarefied. We'll just glide. Starry eyed. Once I get you up there, I'll be holding you so near that you will hear. The angels cheer because we're together, weather-wise.